in this video i am going to explain rook polynomial okay now uh, all of you may are aware of very well aware of chessboard you have seen this now we will be having some square boxes in chessboard now you can imagine this rook polynomial in similar fashion okay now in chess say pawns are placed such that not more than one pawn occupies a single square say in chess also you can see so we, you can put only one pawn in a square box you can put two pawns okay so that way we can understand this rook polynomial but the condition is no two pawns can be placed on same row or same column say for example here i have this board now if i put one pawn in this place then i cannot put any of the pawn in this row if i put it i mean they capture each other okay so uh, the moment of element elephant you can imagine here okay so i cannot place at this position where i can place so that this pawn cannot capture my pawn so i can place either here or here or here or here anywhere but not in the same row and same column okay so or k greater than or equal to 2 less than or equal to n where n is or k is number of pawns and rk here indicates number of ways in which k pawns can be placed so for that we have some formula or equation and that is known as rook's polynomial the that the polynomial is given by 1 plus r1x plus r2x square plus up to rn x to the power n and it is denoted by r of c comma x okay where c indicates board and uh, x is variable now 1 plus r1 that the same formula that's what this is c comma x equal to that also now i will take one example then it will be more clear as of now you may feel like uh, you have not, you have not understood anything maybe uh, because another example board and it is four it has four squares okay and there are four positions 1 2 3 4 now if i take let us assume that we have only one pawn with us now where i can place you can place anywhere because there is no other pawn you can place either at position 1 you can place either at position 2 or at 3 or at 4 so how many ways are there to keep single pawn on this board there are four four ways exactly so r1 is equal to 4 this one indicates number of pawns okay one pawn now similarly can you guess what is r2 r2 is nothing but number of ways in i mean in how many ways we can keep or arrange these two pawns in this board can you tell me what will be r2 3 sir 3 there are three ways do you think there are three ways so let us two see ways. yes exactly two ways because let us see if you keep first pawn on first position then you cannot keep here and here okay you must keep it in this box so let this is fourth position so first combination is 1 comma 4 and 4 comma 1 is same combination matte inne idane tholangilla okay 1 comma 4 or 4 comma 1 the same combination now one more combination is you can keep pawn in second position if you keep first one in second position then you cannot keep next one at one i mean first and fourth position you cannot keep here you must keep it in this third position so this is one more combination 2 comma 3 do you find any other combination no so 
there are two ways in which you can arrange these two forms in this order. So it will be two. Now similarly, R3. Can you tell me what is R3? Can you guess? One only one. How? One position. Okay, let us see. So you are gonna keep first pawn at this position, okay? First, second, third, fourth. There are the there are these four, and you have three pawns now, okay? One. There are three pawns. Let us see. Okay. You kept it in first. Where you will keep next? At position four. Yes, sir. Where you will keep next one? Sir, I will only move one pawn, sir. Sorry. Because the two are uh, occupied now, sir. It means that there are no ways of arranging those three pawns in this box, in this square board. Because if you keep these two, where you are going to keep third one? There is no way. If you keep it, this this will capture it. Okay. So R three equal to zero. Have you understood? Why R three is equal to zero? Because it is not possible to arrange those three pawns in the given board. Okay. Similarly, R four is equal to zero. Now, so formula you can write as R of c comma x. It will be what is the first one plus next four x plus three x square. Sorry, this this must be zero x square plus zero x cube. So it will be one plus four x. So that is the required result. Thank you.